dad again. Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me! Again, again, again! I'm Joy Canada Vlog! Hopefully you're still supporting me until the end this uh, vlog. So our topic for today ay ang ating tatalakayan for today ay yung mga taong gustong lumipat dito sa Canada. Uh, 10 mistakes you should know before moving to Canada. Shall we start? na malamig dito. That's number one. Malamig po dito. It's cold weather and uh, if possible na magiging negative feeling siya dito. Ako po ay nakatira dito sa Toronto kaya hindi ko po maramdaman ang lamig at magiging negative siya na up to 30 degree sometimes to negative. Oh no! So, you must prepare your jacket. Sweaters. If you're coming here go during winter time. Number two. Language. Ang language po nila dito sa Canada ay English. Uh, Canadian English. And alangan naman po tayo, magtagalog po tayo pag nakikipag-usap po tayo sa mga Canadian. <laughs> hindi po. Kasi hindi po nila maintindihan ang ating mga lingwahe. Kaya, ang first language nila dito ay English Canadian. Accent. How do you say the word sorry? So it gives two options here. Sorry with an O or sorry. So I obviously say sorry. And this question is kind of funny because it's the most Canadian word ever. Like, I mean, we always get a lot of slack from our American neighbors for saying sorry all of the time. I mean, even... Sorry. Pwede naman tayo maging Canadian accent basta practicein lang natin ang ating communication sa kanila. And also, guys, uh, second language nila dito, French. Ang alam ko lang na salita ay bonjour. Kumusta? Alam ko ang kanilang mga lingwahe dito sa Canada. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, guys, ay ang anong bilib mo sa sarili mo bilang uh, Pilipino. At ganun din sila sa, sa kanilang sarili dito. I uh, respect them as who they are and then they gonna respect you as who you are. At sabi ko na din, i-added ko na maraming benefits po dito sa Canada at opportunity kung dito ka nakatira. Number three, friendly. So guys, ang mga Canadian dito at nakatira dito guys, they are very friendly. Uh, makipag-friend sila sa inyo at very close. Alam nyo ba ang mga ginagawa ng mga Canadian? Um, kahit hindi nila kilala guys, niyayakab ko nila bilang greetings or beso-beso. Pero ako guys, iniiwasan ko mga yan. Pero yun ang kaugalian nila dito. They are super friendly here in Canada. And number five. So, meron tayong multiculturalism in Canada. Was officially adopted by the government during the 1970s and 1980s. The Canadian federal government has been described as a integrator of multiculturalism as an ideology because of its public emphasizes on social importance of immigration. So, it means, guys, just for example, um, magkakaiba po ang mga cultural dito. So, may black, brown, at eh, magkakaiba ang mga religion at beliefs din nila dito. Kaya, we are celebrating uh, Canadian multiculture every 
ये सो गाइस सो इफ यू आर स्टूडेंट हियर इन कनाडा एंड आस एमी ग्रांड हियर इन कनाडा एंड वी हैव अ डिफरेंट बट अ वेरियस लैंग्वेज सो इट मींस गाइस मगकाकाइबा पो यू मगा लिंग्वाही नाते नसलिता kaya tayo nag-aaral ng English dito sa Canada para maintindihan natin ang isa't isa. This is the way na para may communication po tayong lahat. Kung pupunta ka dito sa Canada, you must learn English. But we are still respecting their language. Mayroon po it dito ay magkakaiba po ang aming mga lingwahe. Pero pag nagsalita po sila ay iisang salita ay English Canadian. So now guys, number six ay pagkain, food, Canadian food. Nakatikim na ba kayo ng Canadian food? Hmm. Kung ako ang tatanong, this is my experience guys, ay nakatikim na po ako ng Canadian food. Ang Canadian food ay kakaiba sa mga recipe nating mga sinun. Siya maasim yung pag sa spaghetti. For example, at hindi po sila madalang kumakain ng mga rice. Di kagaya natin, kumakain tayo ng rice. Ang pinaka-rice nila yung mga bread. Pasta, nililig sila dito. Number seven, pay too much. Ano ibig sabihin ng pay too much? Ibig sabihin nun, guys, too many bills here in Canada. Sa totoo lang, guys. I've been long time here in nine nine years. Na experience ko na yan. Too many bills. Kung hindi ka marunong magtipid at marami kang bills. Hindi agawa mo. Yung pay to pay check mo mapupunta lahat sa mga bills mo. Kagaya ng mga luxuries na gustong gusto mo. Lalo yung mga phone na babayaran mo. Ang phone dito ay umaabot ng one hundred dollar. Sabi ko sa inyo my last blog na pag may phone ka dito, a uh, zero down. Yes, guys, zero down. But you have to pay a uh, $100 every month. Yun. Nakakaloka ang mga bills dito, guys. Kung sa... Number nine. Meron tayong public transportation dito sa Canada. So it means public transit. It means guys, may TTC po kami na sinasakyan pero control ng government po yun. So kami po as a client, as a student na nagsumasakay doon ay nagbabayad po kami ng $3.25 Yun po aking pinabayaran pag student ka. Pag uh, adult ka naman, you paying uh, $3.75, I think. I'm not too sure kasi nga, 2021 na ngayon, every year, tumataas yung pamasahin namin dito sa Canada. Papakita ko na lang yung public transit namin dito. Ano pa ba? At also guys, pwede ka din uh, bumili ng ginagawa mo. Monthly pass para make sure na unlimited kahit saan ka pumunta. Pero ngayong pandemic guys, hindi po ako bumibili ng unlimited na presto. Hindi po ako bumibili ng public uh, pair ngayon kasi hindi naman ako lumalabas ng bahay. 
And last but not least, number 10. This one, Canadian, they're super polite. And then, just little mistake, they gonna say sorry to you. Uh, para apologize nila. Pero sa Pilipinas, parang mabigat yung sorry nila. Ang kala nila kung nag-sorry ka na may kasalanan ka. Pero dito, guys, they are super polite, guys. They always say sorry. Madumpo ka lang nila, they always say sorry. And then, you know, guys, they're super caring, too. Uh, matapilok ka lang, sabi na, are you okay? So, yun ang gusto ko dito sa Canada, guys. So, hopefully, guys, you like this video. At may natutunan kayo about here in Canada, kung pupunta man kayo dito, you have idea. And I like this to share to you because uh, I don't have any experience before when I came here in Canada. Um, I'm so happy na ishishare ko to sa inyo. And also guys, we're growing as family. Also guys, we are growing as family. Oh, thank you, thank you so much for supporting me, this channel. And... Oh.